Here is a delicious and healthy recipe called Zippy Yams and Bok Choy. I've actually peeled and sliced up two medium-sized Japanese sweet potatoes. So either sweet potatoes or yams are perfect for this recipe, whichever you may like better. And you want to just cover it with filtered water, put the lid on, and start boiling it. And just check every few minutes to when you can see that it's gotten a little bit tender. So this might be seven, eight minutes into the boiling. Just checking, not all the way, because we're still going to be adding more ingredients, but just halfway tender. And then we're going to be adding one medium yellow onion. So chop that up and mix that in. And once we do this, that's when you're going to turn it down to simmer. Simmer for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to mince three garlic cloves. If you'd like to add more, feel free. Once I was done with this recipe, I thought I probably could have added a little bit more garlic in, just depending upon how much you want to put in there. Okay, and then we're going to simmer that for a few minutes. And once it's translucent, the onion is translucent, then we start adding the rest of the ingredients, which is one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then the next ingredient is chili paste, and I didn't have any, and so I googled and they said just put some cayenne pepper in with some ketchup. So I did that and tasted it so it was the right um, spice and strength for me. And then two baby bok choy, you chop up and put that inside, mix that up, and let that simmer for a good five minutes. It may have been closer to eight minutes, just depending upon how crunchy you would like your bok choy. So after I mixed that in, I think it was a good eight minutes that I simmered it for. And this recipe is from PCRM.org. It's the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And if you're looking for healthy recipes, this is the place to go. Just PCRM.org slash recipes. And they let you know what the calories are, the vitamins and minerals, protein. They just let you know all the details of the recipe and how to make it, and they have a nice picture. And so this really has come together nicely. And then you're ready to serve. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And lastly, you'll be squeezing about half a lemon on top. And boy, just all the different flavors together. That added lemon is just, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, look at that. So this is great for lunch, dinner, or you can cook it the night before for work or a trip. And this is just another great way to get your greens. And bok choy is part of the cruciferous family, um, which has sulforaphane in it, which is an anti-cancer compound. So we want to make sure to get part of the cruciferous family in our diet every day if we can. And so here's just a fabulous way to do that. Squeeze some lemon on top and we're ready to eat it. Yummy. Bon appetit.